On the 9th of May 2019, the Geneva Centre for Human Rights Advancement and Global Dialogue, the World Against Racism Network and the Global Coalition for the International Decade for People of African Descent organised an emergency assembly on the rise of global racism at the United Nations office in Geneva. The aim of this conference was to invite the international community to take a joint stand against racism, racial discrimination and intolerance, and to address the fundamental structural root causes of these scourges through a robust and universal implementation of the Durban Declaration and Programme of Action. The antidote is... The outcome declaration of the World Conference entitled Moving Towards Greater Spiritual Convergence Worldwide in Support of Equal Citizenship Rights. In the joint document of Human Fraternity for World Peace and Living Together, you find in this document, which was adopted at the historical meeting that took place in the United Arab Emirates and where, which brought together under the initiative of the UAE government, the, His Holiness Pope Francis and the great Imam of, uh, the, of Al Azhar brought them together to issue this wonderful declaration which converges with the outcome declaration of our conference last year. This was on the 4th of February this year. We are actually living in a time beyond warning with the, the escalation of racism. And this uh, escalation of racism is also rooted in uh, the global social and economic uh, crisis that certainly is going to accelerate with the, the climate catastrophe that is approaching. There is a need to take a vigorous stand against hate speech, intolerance and racism, as stipulated in the Durban Declaration and Programme of Action. The latter commits the international community to work together to combat racism in all its forms and manifestations. The DDPA embodies the firm commitment of the international community to tackle these scourges at regional, at national, regional and international levels. And we must recognize that no country can claim to be free of racism, that racism is a global concern and that tackling it ought to be a universal effort. There is a gathering darkness over the international human rights system and the, avail and the ability to guarantee basic rights to people of African descent is at great risk. We have yet to dismantle the ideological infrastructure of hate. We consider that the SDGs, which is one of the most important platforms being worked out within the United Nations, unfortunately, have not included the issue of racism. We would like to encourage the state parties to include this question in their national plans of implementation of the SDGs. We must work together and in strategic partnership with others to create anti-racist policies. The participants underscored the vital importance of political will, unity of purpose and international cooperation in order to successfully address all forms and manifestations of racism, racial discrimination, xenophobia and related intolerance. It is only through engaging in sustained dialogue and accepting diversity that peace can be restored and the development of tolerant and inclusive societies guaranteed. So we must forcefully express our belief that it is possible to live together in diversity and respect for others. This is precisely why the City of Geneva actively supports the commitment by all those who are reflecting on the question of racism and all of its forms. The dismantling and eradication of racism 
requires that we address all its manifestations and historical expressions, especially slavery and colonialism. The World Council of Churches calls our churches, our member churches, ecumenical partners, all people of good will to commit more strongly to the promotion of, of culture of encounter and dialogue, recognizing God in the faces of others, migrants, and those who dwell in the margins. And this is the essence that I would bring forward how racial stereotyping and racial uh, 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 language, racial profile, is exist in the, in the society, in the cultural, history, uh, historical tradition. So we have a, a lot of work to do, not only look at languages, but also look at symbols. For history and the evolution of societies prove without a doubt that it is empathy, it is empathy and not ethnicity that creates a community and lays the foundation for sustainable and inclusive societies. In the interactive dialogue session that followed, representatives from more than 40 permanent missions and civil society organisations highlighted that international action is urgently needed to address the alarming rise in xenophobia, racism and intolerance worldwide. All racisms are bad and should be fought. All of them. The most efficient way is to develop educational and awareness programs that put greater emphasis on educating people more and better. Like many countries in the world, my government works hard to try and combat racism, racial discrimination and prejudice. But also, and again like many countries in the world, the reality is that we face challenges in this regard and that sustained efforts are required. Uh, my country hosted the fifth session of the World Forum on Intercultural Dialogue. And the forum examined the cr critical role of inter intercultural dialogue as an, an actionable strategy for building human solidarity and helping societies to counter the violence and discrimination in diverse communities. Brazil is firmly committed to combating and preventing racism and religious intolerance and violence. Mm -hmm.